this up for living in your doorbell chimes. Oh, I love yeah, now I said I start at nine, but I had to grab a bath on the M25. Don't oh. worry, love's too good to charge with the time. Cause I'm a jack of all tradesmen, and your place is craving renovations. Straight from the faces down into your basement. Fraid your radiators need replacements. Clean a decorator in an eighth mile radius. Don't shake my ratings, swear they're outrageous. Order outrageous basis. I'm blameless. Only three of my attention ever caved in. You got savings? Oh, well, I hope you do. Cause it's an egg of a job that I'm quoting you. Look, I know that you only want a coat of blue. But to be safe, I better run me nose and through. I could do it in a flash, in a jiffy, in a job. But the trouble is, love is coming out one o'clock. So I'll have a spot lunch, then a cup, and then I'm off. When I come back tomorrow, see if anything to stop. If I got it in the van, that's great. If I haven't, then I gotta get the parts from Japan. They should be here in Jan, maybe June, in a year, maybe two. But I'll take the damn payment now. See you soon. I'll tell you, I have got five star reviews, and by that I mean I have five one star reviews, which is basically the same thing. Don't think about it. Satisfaction guaranteed, cash in hand and no receipts. Your dream home is miles of free as a bad cup of tea. I can see a little room for improvement. I can see a little room for improvement. Are you sure you want a glass translucent? I can see a little room for improvement. I'm a one man overall, sporting overalls. Though I don't recall the low bearing wall, so I suppose I ought to bulldoze them all. Hey, your home is sort of disposable. I do wiring, grouting, I put your power shower in. The pipe ain't leaking, it's just a little fouling. What do you mean that's not what power shower is? It's bounce right here where the plugs are mounted. I'm the Andy man with the plan to retire by cheating cash from your grand. You really need to trial on me, Sheila. That's right, I'm afraid that'll be ten grand. If you all's too bland, I could lend a hand. Got a car full of samples, wildly fan. And most of the lead free cans are banned, though some colours are still cast in the gents. We got XL beige, a crusade. Hesse in a sesame, a peppermint rage. Indigo dingo, elephant plague. Hot dog embargo and lemon rampage. Baby blue, navy blue, gravy blue, maybe blue. Gravy brew, barbecue, caribou, cabacrew. Third degree, third degree, turtle infirmary. Flabble and curdle and terminal burgundy. And oh, white? Yeah, you'd prefer white. Okay, whatever. White's fine too. I'm not hurt or anything. It's a bit emotional. Satisfaction guaranteed. Cash in hand and no receipts. Your dream home is miles of free as a bad cup of tea. I can see a little room for improvement. I can see a little room for improvement. Yeah, the 50s are nice, but the quote don't include them. I can see a little room for improvement. They say home is where the art is, and that's true enough, I guess. Cause it seems like your garage is now in cardiac arrest. All this stored some extra arches, but your bathroom's somewhat less. I'm afraid to say your bath is firmly parked up on your desk. I'm a stone cold filler, pro roach killer. I'm a fixture of fitting in a kitchen in your villa. I'm a teacup, could use a little refiller. And I don't suppose you're gonna risk it. They are no clever boffin, but you know I'm never stopping. I can think of a partition quicker than you slot a noggin. I'm involved in my spirits level lying in the coffin. Till then I got a new side, you get pressure watching. Satisfaction guaranteed, cash in and no receipts. Your dream home is mild and free as a bad cup of tea. I can see a little room. I don't appreciate the brutalist movement. I can see a little room for improvement. I can see a little room for improvement. I can see a little room for improvement. Regulations, nah, never use them. I can see a little room for improvement. I still remember the day the frost descended. It was the end of empty threats from a god who must have meant it. We must have crossed a deity whom our greed and lust offended, and upon whose plentiful benevolence each of us depended. The biting chill swept across the lofty life we'd built, till mighty buildings were left crushed to look like tiny hills. The frost lifted up the rock, exposing all society's ills. Those we tried not to think about for what we might reveal. We set a course and travelled forth to grab resources from the shrapnel of oil tankers and man of warships. Battle forces we had. Hadn't planned to have a war with the all before But now we have a lack of choice This is the new reality A gloomy anarchy looming Held in the hand of one human Who is that man? It's me Can't say I feel proud This doesn't warrant vanity The looking glass is frosted over and we cannot see So we place our faith in hopes and dreams In smoke and steam I mean, why would we go to those extremes If we don't believe? So hunker down and dig in for the coldest winter tides And you convince your pride for self that you've nothing
first of us huddled round the fire With nothing to hide but animal hides as attire Our entire world was centred and dependent on supplies of carbon The new oxygen that we required to respire We pampered life's complexities, manufactured luxuries While suffocating nature's lungs when we cut the trees Now our comeuppance seems to be to huddle round the fire With everything to hide and animal hides as attire What goes around will come around, whatever's underground will come up now you're not expecting it and damn well hunt you down so hunk it down and dig in for the coldest winter tide since you convince your pride for self that you've nothing to hide the wheels of progress frozen in motion unless we fall all these unspoken spokes and death is coming home the wheels of progress frozen in motion unless we fall all these unspoken Our open throats the chimney Our hearts the flowing pumps That need the bellow lungs to bring heat But our brittle bodies are a pitiful device Trying to subsist upon a trickle of surprise With the vittles diminishing I don't think it will suffice Although species evolve quicker When it's difficult to thrive But that theory isn't something that always applies Deprive us enough We'll suffer our inevitable demise We are each expendable But the city must survive It's just a pleasant bonus If it keeps us alive so hunker down and dig in for the coldest winter tide Since you convinced your pride So felt that you've nothing to hide The wheels of progress frozen in motion Unless we fall all these unspoken spokes And death is coming home The wheels of progress frozen in motion Unless we fall all these unspoken spokes Well then Usually the kind of guy to spill the beans But beneath the glitz and gleam This business is filled with fiends So I'm switching teams Snitching, sneaking, wrap my way And slinking off the witness protection At Empire Bay Never thought I'd be in a former office Or I ain't sure rap But if it's either that Or get a kneecap with a baseball bat Then it's obvious I got no option But to cough it up So you're gonna hear me singing Like a canary at the opera Or a broad who's getting loose As a goose at the speakeasy Jeez, I've seen scenes I've seen enough to make me queasy See, we kinda like the finer things the violence brings fine dining a wine and drink a taxi driver's dream so beating prohibition lost heaven needs a coalition you can refuse me any time but you're in no position i hope you're listening now read between the lines heed my unspoken wishes fish a key to meet my client really feeling fine he just needs some cleaning time look he's just deep sea diving what the f you mean he's dying so tell the boys to be well advised and avoid in illinois because we're the type to visit a journalist by whom we're vilified never mind a crime file laws with a lavish lifestyle any violent transaction an act of purely mice and tile. honestly some of these wise guys are quite vile it's kind of wild what you could hide behind a nice Nice tie and polite smile. Huh? You flush and blood, sis on Salieri, my child. Until the time we see you through to Peter's pine style. Your life might need the mafia to take it off of you. Hey, no need to walk away. We brought a car for you. We're gonna take you for a ride around the block. And if you're feeling shy, we'll help you find out how to talk. They'll need a team of guys to dry you out the dark. They'll find you drowned with a block tied around your socks. That's what'll happen when you're diving down with sharks. So now your time to ride the line of ground in a box. 
fertilizing flowers till we cut them by the stalks lying in a shallow grave no rocks to rock the plot boss for thought you want to talk profit or loss talk to the boss i ain't even sure if he works in his office or not but i certainly never heard of him officer i'm at a loss as to how to point to the minor polloin and living off with a profit it was all part of the plan we parked the van behind that dark sedan the hired hand to wait for our command and it starts to scratch shift ship it to contraband while listening to sinatra's band if you ain't in this life don't even try to understand you can call it tactics on the hand I call him slick Like after the Lancers game You just happen to call it sick We're all magicians It's just how we perform the trick That's different I can blow holes Through front walls To the four inch thick So of course we're mafioso You darn bozo No, I don't think so. I friggin' know so. The whole neighborhood we control's a no-go. So if you don't hope for a boat cut of the boat pose, you better know show. Make yourself a Joe Schmo, the folk nobody don't know. See, this business don't go for slogans or logos, no. We keep it on a low low. No fingerprints or photos. Right under your nose, we throw you off the set when we blow smoke. Quit pro quo, keep your friend and foes both close. And soon enough, you'll be thinking, hey, where'd all the dope go? Still coke by the boatload and pack it flavored cocoa. Yeah, low, we got a sense. I forgot to turn on the lamp behind me. What do I thank you for? Bitch. You know, it's impossible to find good help these days. You know, it was also impossible to find today, and this is some bullshit. Gallons of tea. I was going to pour it and stare at the camera, but honestly, didn't want to risk spilling it on the counter. Counter, table, desk, whatever. Fuck you. How it goes it it goes well i made up for not being able to get a full gallon of tea by buying fig newtons which is an option yeah not equivalent thankfully i've got more cans I only grabbed four, though, trying to pace myself out of 12. So, bit of a soft rebranding, as you may have noticed. Pacing is important. It is. Yeah, bit of a soft rebranding, as you may have noticed, into, uh... The Tiniest Neko, which I think is just a lot better name. Damn. It's not going to let me set the uh, encoding. That is disappointing. Yeah, I've been mulling over the whole Tiny Neko gaming thing for a while, and it's not my favorite name. Like, Tiny Neko I like. I like that. I think that's a good username. Gaming, I think, fucking ruins it. What prompted the rebrand? Well, I'm explaining. Listen, you little fucking turkey. I will explain. But I like the gaming in Tiny Neko Gaming, I think, really cheapened the image. You know, it basically was like, hey, I couldn't get the username Tiny Neko. So I put gaming on the end of it. It's Twitch. You know why we're here. But I've been mulling over a new username for a long time. And I have Tiniest Neko. Like, don't think for a hot second, the Tiniest Neko is because I couldn't take Tiniest Neko. I, I have the Tiniest Neko username. That's that's mine. <laughs> like, 
That's that's my chatbot's name, and I could have obviously stolen that if I wanted. But I was like, the tiniest Neko has a bit of a punch to it. And yeah, I know there's an underscore, but I, th I think it's fine. I think the underscore is okay. But it's like a little punch of the tiniest Neko, or the tiniest Neko. I think the tiniest Neko is, is the way to pronounce it. Yeah, that, that is the correct pronunciation, is the tiniest Neko. Now, for the emotes, uh, apparently Twitch has a bunch of free emotes now. And I was like, cool, these are mine now. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, you switched to Tiniest Neko a while back. Well, I most of the thing is Tiny Neko's taken in most games. So I was doing Tiniest Neko in most games, and it, it just, you know, it, I was like, fuck it. I like Tiniest Neko, I think, better than Tiny Neko. It's a bit more definitive. On gaming platforms, at least. Yeah. Also, they, I, they had a thing that animates the emotes for you, and I'm fucking lazy. I did just realize that my um, chat window is broken, which is mint. So that's really good. How did that chat window even work? I don't even remember. It's on brand for this place, is Jay. You're not wrong. I think my stream elements overlays broke. Which is mm, mm, so on brand. I'll fix it, don't worry. Which I should probably check the other dashboards too. I didn't even consider that they might have broken. Dashboards overlays, whatever, fuck it. God, everything I do is so shit. Do something. I have no working. That's weird. Oh, it's working. It's just not over here. now. Hooray. Thank God. And there it goes. Perfect. Great. Now I don't know if any of my fucking alerts work. That's great. I, I'd hate for someone to follow and nothing happened. Hold on. We better check those. God, I love streaming. I'll see you later. Okay, so that is working. Good. We're, we're good to go. You did the computer things. I don't know why the chat window broke and everything else did it. That doesn't make any fucking sense, but whatever. Shut up. Also, um, big news this weekend. Uh, there's a teaser from the Cloudpunk guys. And uh, uh, that's, that's looking like a fresh Cloudpunk right there. And Cloudpunk is pretty fucking good. Like, if you want to play a cyberpunk game, Cloudpunk is the extremely cyberpunk. It's very good. Would recommend. Anyways, I also reinstalled Cyberpunk. We may stream that. I'm thinking about it. 
would eat another fish. You own it, you just need to play it? No, you don't. <sighs> Smells like fig. Mm. Tastes like Newton. Because I was talking about streaming Red Dead Redemption 2. Would it be more fun to stream Cyberpunk? I hate cyberpunk. I can get riled up about cyberpunk. They've added new stuff to it. I've never traveled further south than the Grave Horde. In the old days, the Mad Sun King made doing so impossible. Good for a wear act to see its cheats and change. So I don't actually know where we are. Oh yeah. I I didn't I didn't score encoding today, so um. I'm just going to have to pause my stream preview. Nah, fresh new experience first, then Uber Jank. Oh, it's been a long day. Can I fast travel? Yeah, um... Oh, I'm going all the way down there. Yeah, fuck yeah, I'm fast traveling. Fuck this shit, I'm out. <sighs> the thing is... I, I know very little about the story for, um, whoops. We must face for, stronger machines. Um, what's it called? We'll have to become better hunters. Machines purple markings. To approach them with caution is to lay wood on your own. Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, get fucking nailed it. They're like, who the hell is he called again? I don't fucking remember. Um, oh, we can gamble blue gems. That seems like a terrible idea. Just RD R2 is a prequel. Yeah, Red Dead Redemption 2 is a prequel. That I know. We should gamble, clearly. Like, just everything we have. That's a good idea. I think I can sell merchants. Yeah. Let's clean out. I do, I do want to try and, you know, progress at a faster pace tonight. Because Hildebrand is on the horizon. And... Oh, Hildebrand's going to be fun. So let's see if we can't gamble our way to um, being able to buy stuff. That didn't work. 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 Mm, this is good. Well, that was a fucking waste. So, machines in the south suffer their own sort of corruption. Well, that's great, because now I have no blue gleam anymore. Great. Well, fuck. God damn it. You know, I assumed I'd get blue gleam because, you know, the the other chest, you get the currency that you spent on it. You know, like is implied. So that's unfortunate. I don't give a fuck. I fuck him, people. I prefer. I, I don't give a fuck. Well, fuck you. Fuck gave... your game. I, want I am now salty. I won't see you. Better get some fucking fries, cause your boy here's got a lot of salt. 
So, speaking of French fries, I had five guys for lunch, which was pretty good. Charge up a new hunting band. Just what I. What the fuck is this? Hold on, I saw a thing. What the fuck? Oh, it's a dam. We don't swear on this channel. All I hope for is a song that echoes on after I'm gone. The expected disappointment of loot boxes. Yeah. I assume that this game had loot boxes in the intent of doing more conditioning. Into... The sound is given up. You know, more, more conditioning for loot boxes. Why the fuck else would you put loot boxes that don't even have a goddamn monetary value? And don't fucking tell me that eh, loot boxes are fine. Have you seen the fucking shit? That is the new uh, Diablo game, by the way. Because it is a... It's a thing. Now, I will admit that I am I form my opinion of that such thing based off of uh, Josh Dreyfase, because it's Josh Dreyfase, you know. The infinitely fuckable Josh Dreyfase. God, I hope he sees this video. He won't, but you know. <laughs> Just because that'd be creepy. Of course I know about that. Yeah. He, he's had coverage of it, and I watch his videos and value his opinions. And according to his videos, it's... The dude is hot. I agree. As someone who's not into dudes, he's a dude you could get into. With your penis. Frozen machine fluid. What the fuck just knocked? That was a weird physical interaction. Also, I appreciate the laughter. I tried my bestest. I think there's a noodle over here. I don't know what they're actually called, but like the weird plant looking thing that is possessing the creatures. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, so he's been playing it with uh, Callan Upton, who is another uh, good YouTuber. Callan Upton is definitely, I think, someone to be watched going in. How many? Fucking things are there! Choke a dick. But yeah, uh, dude's been cover has had some coverage over it. And it's just it's his opinion, I believe I can safely summarize as it would be a fun game if it wasn't for all the fucking microtransactions. Stocking up? Because apparently it's like, apparently it's relatively fun, but it is absolutely just stuffed to the brim with microtransactions. Specifically like loot drops, having good loot drops is gated off behind microtransactions such that uh, Josh Strife Hayes has described it as basically being a loot box or is literally as being a loot box that you just have to pay for, or that you have to um, do a five minute gameplay section. For. Is that a long a neck? Tonic? Tall neck. What did it take to knock one of those over? They're built all That's interesting. Last. I heard it's mediocre and then the marker transactions are horrendous. Well, it's a Diablo game. They're always kind of mediocre. Yeah, you have to play the loot box, yeah. So basically, like, and also, it's one thing that was interesting is in one of Callum Upton. So a lot of this is reference to Callum Upton's stream that he had about it, or a stream where he was playing it. Ooh, 
And in his stream, someone gave him 20 bucks to try just to see what the microtransactions do for the loot drops. And the currency that you buy in the loot drop, like for the dank ass loot drops, has a. So it's disguised to look like a currency you can earn in game. There's two different currencies that look identical. Let's make this quick. Why am I helping you? I don't give a shit about those people. It's disguised to look like a currency that you can earn in game with a very slightly different icon. Okay. Which has led just... some people, including Josh Drive Hayes, to initially think that you can earn the currency for the legendary loot drop tokens in game. When you cannot, they are only a cash shop item. So not only does it have effectively a loot box, it also deliberately tries to deceive the players into thinking that it fucking doesn't use, or like that you can earn access to the loot box in game when you cannot. Which is some shit. All right, gotta head up that mountain. Race to the first challenge site. It looks like there are a few ways to go up, and those rock paintings mark the path. Okay, well I'm going this way because it speaks to me as a person. And by speaks to me as a person, I mean I feel like going to the left. The left is a good direction. That rock painting is okay, struggling. Up we go. Climb! What what the fuck? Thanks, game. Fucking sh Jesus. What? Can I just head over there? Like Aloy time's wasting. Oh, I guess I am, but through up here. I'm waiting. I don't know. You're the one that wouldn't climb up a fucking ledge. Oh. How have we fallen like so way. far from like the halfway decent climbing, like parkour stuff of Assassin's Creed? Like how how has gaming come so far down? Almost to the top. All right, Challenger. You need to take off the herd below. Every machine. Okay. Okay, we can do that. This would work better if the machines weren't pants on head retarded. Oh, I can't craft those anymore. Oh, that's annoying. Get up, Aloy. We're not done. Because of all the mechanically strong games got buried by metric fuck tons of trash in the Ogre games. Yeah, they did. But you remember when the Assassin's Creed franchise was good and we didn't have to worry as much about Ubisoft raping people? Yup, yeah, me too. Do you remember when EA was the scummiest video game company? Huh. Brings you back. Why am I trying to sprint everywhere? We learned last time that it's much faster to roll. All right. Come on, climb up 
up here. Shut the fuck up. Now climb the ridge and launch your balloon. All they did was super fucking greedy. Yeah, they were super fucking greedy. Haratok knows what he's doing. No time to waste. Take the rappel point to the next challenge. Ugh. Too the amount of the head challenger. Kill them both. None of the other machines matter. What is the bellow back? Studios died for that greed, and, but that's all it was. Yeah. Uh, I still don't have the stop. Oh shit. I have a plan. Don't touch me, I have a plan. We're just gonna override this. And then it's gonna fight the Bellabax. But I think I need to thin out the, the herd as it were. Die, come on. <laughs> Trying to Oh, come on, game. That's what I wanted. I was trying to get another one down to override it so I could have, you know. Just die already. Fuck it. Ugh, these things are a pain in my ass. Just hit it, Aloy. God, I hate you so much. Oh, I'm dying, and I'm trapped in an animation, so I can't do anything about it. This is annoying. Oh, this is a bellow back with ice. Does that mean fire is effective on this? You know, it's, it's, I'm really glad I went through all the effort of capturing this fucking thing so now it can fight me. I wonder what the other guy's doing. Probably nothing. You know, it, it they, they wouldn't dare have, like, actually something going on with the other fucking character. Shut up. The thing is, it doesn't matter how fast I do this, as long as I beat the timer. I'm, I'm still going to be neck and neck. Like, we're going to be neck and neck with the other guy. Because that's the only way they can do tension, is if there's, you know, if I... God, just climb. Whoops. Now take the zip line and work your way Yeah, see, like, I had six minutes to go, but... You know, we're neck and neck, obviously. I want to point out that when you're in the weapon wheel, your time just keeps moving. It does not, like, stop. Which is... dumb. I pointed it out last time, but I still hate it. Still think it's fucking stupid. Close now. I hate this cutscene thing. Almost like down. the repelling little cutscene animation right. is just the annoying challenge. to me. Yeah, like there's no stakes. As long as I beat the timer, that's all that matters. So 
Something's wrong. My kin should be here. Driving in our final quarry. Ooh. I don't have the resources for this. I should do what he's doing and, and pause and change weapons, which is just a better idea since, you know, I can't, you know, fucking... Oh, wow, I do not have a lot of ammo. Ow. I thought this was a stealth game. I thought like the combat was shit because it's supposed to be a stealth experience. This doesn't seem very stealthy. You know, just, just saying, just saying. Seem to be a lot of stealth happening here. Not even close, yeah. I love how every time I hit it, he does a vague movement. It just sends out a generic shockwave from him. That's not irritating at all. Jaminy Christmas. Uh, go, Aloy, Jesus. Uh, just gotta shoot this guy in the Capcom, you know? What is he doing? What is that attack? Alright, so that's... Uh, so anyways, let's go ahead and pause real quick. You know, you can't pause using your uh, weapon wheel, but you can just open the fucking menu and swap weapons. Makes no fucking sense to me, but yeah, yeah, I know. Wow, that was a complete waste of a uh, weapon. We should be using this, I think. Let's try and knock off any armor plates they might have. Ooh. I'm oh, I'm stuck in a rock. Okay, fair. I'm not on a timer anymore, so I guess there's not really any rush. Hello. What's this other arrow I have? The hunt arrow. Or the hard points of part breaking arrow and the. Oh, excuse me. Am I supposed to be picking this gentleman up? Yeah, I guess I will. This other bear just won't fucking die. Awfully convenient for the timer to vanish. Yeah, I thought I thought we were in a race. Oh uh, damn, better level up. Well, I got ten skill points. I actually should probably level up. Um, heavy spear attacks deal increased damage when Aloy's health is low. Faster reload when using concentration. Concentration never fucking works, anyways. I don't know why I'd give a shit. Um. Hmm. Let's, let's, we need, we definitely need ammo crafter. I don't really care about disarm traps. Um. Strike from below is kind of tempting. Strike. Uh, that's a kind of annoying actually now that I've noticed that that's a thing. This fight back is probably halfway useful. Hooray! Get fucked! Also thought this was a stealth game? Yeah, me too! Uh, 
I like how I dodged that, didn't take damage, but still had to, you know. Still had to sit through the whole uh, getting knocked around thing. Just hit it. It's a stealth game in the sense that melee sucks and they didn't build it with melee in mind. Like, that's what makes it a stealth game, is that you are a range-based character. As far as I can tell, that that's pretty much it. That's, that's what makes it stealth. I feel like this NPC is entirely useless. I better get to loot those bears. Anyways, I need more tea. The attack cut short the competition. Naturally, there can be no result. It is void. He's gonna tell everyone I won. That's what's gonna happen here. Oh, the dialogue is just fucked off. Why is the dialogue just fucked off? Yeah, he's just be like, she defeated the machine. Oh, there it is. We are Banuk. Survive, prevail. What else matters? I thought Banuk were hippies. Why did he cut himself on that? And the dialogue's gone again. Fucking aces. I'm not gonna read these subtitles. They didn't pay me to do that. This plot device stick? I guess. Her stick's kinda cooler. I refuse to read these subtitles. They paid for voice. Listen, they paid voice actors. It's not my goddamn problem. Their game doesn't fucking work. Assholes. You think that bear is supposed to be just hissing that close to the cutscene? This is a good cutscene. I'm glad we're watching it. Anyways. Did I get like a new outfit? Cause that'd be kind of neato. I hope it's a melee outfit. Let's see, go to my loot boxes, hooray. All right, let's see what we got. Oh my God. It is, it is a, it is a statless outfit. <sighs> Yeah. Suck it out your asshole game. What about weapons? I got a Banuk Ice Rail, which is an ice attack. Okay. I mean, I really wanted to get like a new bow, you know, something generally useful. Let's go see what that is. I, I need to hunt down some more of that goddamn uh, material that I fucking wasted because I thought I'd be able to get some more. I didn't realize I was just pissing it all away on loot boxes like money in the real world. Ammo was like super pricey to make. It is! It's so fucking expensive! Can I even get over this fucking mountain? Jesus. Go around? God damn. Don't have a fucking seizure. Jesus Christ. Oh, can't go that way. I'll tell you what, though. The, the day this game just up and fucking crashes is the day we're done fucking playing it. 
How's that for you? Because I'm not that invested. You know, I, I had a lot of people tell me this is a good game, and you know what? They're fucking wrong. Fine by me. I mean, you're the only one who's watching anyway, so. Clearly, I need to stream more train-oriented combat content. <laughs> I was going to make a comment about how the sound cut out again, and then... You know. Shape. Um, I guess if we gotta go that far down, we might, let's just go grab this one, see what the fuck this is. This game's aggressively mediocre. It is! I'd refund it if I could. Ugh, birds. Oh no. You know what? Exploring is a mistake. So, fucking work today, right? Oh, I have to go this way anyways. It'll be easier to start from there, fuck it. So it worked today, right? So we went to this uh, person called saying they were coming to buy a bicycle. And so we went and got the bicycle out and we discovered the bicycle had been shipped to us missing a brake. Just an entire ass brake was not on the fucking bike. And we we're like, oh good. So we went looking and we're like, okay, um, is there another one of these bikes in the company that we can, you know, go grab? No, it's the only one. Okay. Uh, do we have one of these brakes in stock? No. Okay. Uh, so what we did is we found another bicycle that had the brake on it took the brake off of that bicycle, put it onto this bicycle that they wanted to come by, right? Because we're like, we got, we got a customer on the fucking way for this bike. You know? The logic there being, we would like to sell bicycles. So, we fucking, like, we get the brake off of this bicycle, and this is a lot of effort. Like, it is not a small task to pull the brake, you know, the parts off this bike, because it's an e-bike, and all of the stuff is internally routed, it's got hydraulic brakes, it's, it's this whole fucking thing. So we go through all this effort, and, you know, we've have, and we have customers coming in and out, like, we're still fucking open, like, we're not... This isn't happening outside of work hours. This is the middle of the fucking day. So... Please just die. So, like, we're working on this shit, right? And customers are coming in. We, we keep having to stop to help customers. And eventually, the customer comes in, and we don't have... You know, we don't have the brake on the bike they're coming to look at. Because, you know, it's about like 40 minutes to closing. We're fucking done with this. Like, we're over it. You know, we, we've, we're understaffed. We, we're relatively busy. Most of the people who came in didn't fucking buy anything, so they just wasted our goddamn time. And so, we're like, you yeah, know, we're kind of annoyed. We're like, yeah, the bike's right here. It doesn't have a brake. We're working on putting one on, but you know, it's 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 taking time and and they're like, oh well we drove two hours to come see this and this is the bike we want. And we're like, okay, well and my manager's like, can you you know, can you get this fucking brake on? And I'm like, probably. Like I'm like, I can do it. You're just gonna have to like get everyone to fuck off and leave me alone for like the next, you know, 15, 20 minutes. So I can get this goddamn brake on. Because the reason the brake wasn't on is because I'm fucking busy, you know? There's customers coming in that I'm dealing with. And he's like, okay, just do it. You know, just 
do you know do it everyone else can just suck a dick and deal with their own shit and i'm like okay because my job is not to repair bikes I'm, I'm a service rider my job is to inspect bicycles for repairs and sell the customer what repair the bike needs that's that's my fucking job So, I mean, I, I can't work on bikes. I, I do know how to work on bikes. Which makes my job not that hard, honestly. So, I proceed to mount the brake and do it, and I, because I hydraulic, so I have to do a brake bleed. So, I do like the fastest fucking brake bleed you've ever seen. Like, 10 minute fucking brake bleed. Get this shit knocked the fuck out for this customer. And they ride it around, you know, they do a test ride, and they're like, mm, you know what, I think I don't really like this bike. And I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> like, we, because we were getting ready to do closing, you know? It, it's fucking 40 minutes to close. We got shit to do. You know, we pulled this brake off of a whole ass other bicycle. This is just annoying. Can you just... Oh, wait. Oh, he's possessed. Oh, God, just do... Aloy, fuck! So they're like, mm, we don't really, I don't really like this bike. And I'm like, oh my God. Because they drove two hours to fucking get here. And then we're like, ah, I don't think I want it. And I'm just like, fuck you. Like, it is literally closing time right now. And we still have to clean the DM store That's and count cash and do the fucking end of day, day sales report. Like, we didn't do any of that shit because we were getting this fucking bike ready for you. Ugh. So annoying. I have a feeling I'm gonna walk into that and it's going to explode and kill me. Yeah, that that is that sounds like that's what's happening. Okay. These mines are not very good. Yeah, so that was really annoying. And like while we're doing this, my manager is looking at me. He's like, "If they don't buy this bike, I'm going to kill myself." And I'm like, "Fuck you! I'm going to kill myself first. You know, because we're millennials, and that's that's what we do. Just kill each other at that point. Yeah, that's pussy shit. Suicide is the way to go. You know what? Why, why am I sneaking? Fuck all of this. Just do the thing. This is going to be really annoying. Alright, I'm done with this. Moving on. Not worth it. I tried. You saw it. I doubt it will even give me what I want anyways. Yeah, there's another one right there. Who gives a shit? There's two of them. 
God. No, I'm good. Fuck all of that. I saw a thing the other day where someone was like, Horizon Zero Dawn's really about the story, and I'm just like, that's not a good thing, you know, right? Like, this game's shit. Story's terrible. I don't even like this game. Calm, calm. And it sure shit didn't have many viewers. That's for goddamn sure. In fact, why am I playing this if it doesn't get me any fucking viewers? You know? What's the logic on that? They know where I am. Story has been bland as fuck. It has been. And the gameplay has run its course. Like, we've kind of seen what it has to offer. Oh no, I'm being chased by an invisible thingy. Oh, it's a bird. Never mind. Hmm. If I can get to the tower. You know what? The environment tells a more interesting story. I mean, I guess it kind of does, but like, I just, it's so fucking dull. How many hours have I put into this game? That's a low bar. I agree. I'm gonna look how many hours I've... I have put 15.8 hours into this game. I don't know if it was worth it, honestly. You know? Like, you know what I mean? Does does it feel like a good 15 hours? Because I'm not sure it does. Not even close? Yeah, man, I don't think. No, you're, you're saying hell no? No? Yeah. I'm assuming that no is a hell no. Like, mm, fuck this. Been here for most of it. It's shit. I agree. It's pretty dull. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Not about much, though, admittedly. Here's what I'm thinking, right? Here's what I'm thinking. All right, pick me, pick me out on this. If you're picking up what I'm putting down, what if I, like, close the fucking game, right? Just close it. Just close the fucking game. Then, like, I go over here to the fucking stream title, and I'd be like... I, like, change the stream title, right? Like, update the stream title. Go down here, and we, uh, fucking... We update the fucking game, right? And so we, we change the fucking game to a better fucking game. Okay, are you picking it up? You picking up what I'm putting down? You're picking it up? Good, good, good. Good, good, good. So then you, like, you get out your phone, right? Right? Get out your phone. And you go in here, and you get your token out. You type it in while no one can see it, because you don't want other people to stack into your account, right? You hit okay. Okay. All right. All right. You're picking it up. It's good. It's good. It's good. So then, then what you do is after you've updated all of that, walk into the fucking game and play something that doesn't make me want to kill myself. Hypothetically. You know.
Another game time. Hooray. Odd. Better game time. Hooray. More interesting game ahoy. Hooray! Fuck that shit, I'm out! We're still not doing Hildebrand. We'll do that another time. We're not starting Hildebrand right now, you know? Not starting Hildebrand midway through the stream. Well, let me... I was playing around with the FPS limiter. Let me go ahead and turn that off. Woo, 42 whole FPS! Hold on, retainers. Now nah, that'd be a bad move. Yeah, like, we're gonna do Hildebrand next week. Also, I need to uh, turn something on for my own sanity. Please don't launch on this screen. Please launch on the other one. Thank you. Let me, okay, good. Now, uh, oh, oh no, we're on this screen for a moment. Why could that be? Ah, uh, I have no idea. Okay, oh, whoop, we're back. Oh, crisis averted, nothing has changed. Is that my glam? Oh, I thought that, I saw that. I thought that was one of my glams for a half. That's not a bad glamour. Hold the fuck up. That is, that's not a bad, like it's not a great glam, but that's not a bad glam. That's a good use of those pants. I can dig it. I don't love it, but I can dig it. Like the, it's the, the, the accent color down here. If it was gold, this would be fucking mint. It's okay. It's, it's, uh, it's not gonna win any awards, but it's not bad. You gotta respect the hustle. So also, currently, the Gold Saucer event is running. So the Gold Saucer's kinda bumping. Like, there's a few people here. Let's go ahead and sign up for a tournament. I would like to do one. Ascension and Fallen Ace, I can live with that. Yeah, needs the gold. I agree. Ooh, good. I can actually decent this uh, item for armor smithing skill. That's fantastic. What about that? I think that's just a goldsmith. Uh, you know what? I'm going to turn that into the grand company. Oh, hey, our mutual friend's favorite pastime to torture himself. Yeah. I like the open tournaments, though, because, like, I can usually just blame it on the deck that I was given, and basically everyone believes you. It's a good strategy. Mm. Corrin won the weekly, the bi-weekly tournament the other day, though, and got a shit ton of MGP. Like, Corrin got fucking stacks for it. Nice, yeah. I've been leveling Summoner. Summoner is fucking crazy. Like, if you haven't tried the new Summoner, you should, it's really fun. It's really dumb. It's super easy. Would recommend. This is Ascension, remember? I need to limit my frame rate. Holy crap. Hmm. I need to start playing in general. Yeah, I don't have a good Ascension here. I'm gonna grab that, this, and that, and I think that's gonna be my, no, we'll grab this one. I think that's gonna be my best bet. I don't even know if this is good though. Um, No, let's go this one. I, I'm not gonna be able to benefit from the, from the Ascension here at all, I think. Let's get this guy so I've got a vertical there. I think that's where we're gonna go. I'm also gonna launch the NVIDIA control panel real quick. Mm -hmm. 
I'll have to restart 14 to have that take effect, but you're probably going to need it. I hate going first. Let's go ahead and do a bait into the middle. I like the middle. I, it's, I don't know why I just do. And it's advanced, so... Go to left of limit on the FPS. Come on. Play a fucking card. I'm just gonna have to be tabbed out of the game when I'm talking and thinking to try and save the camera. So... They've, this guard cannot be taken. I can't take that at all. But they didn't take that. I may just do an anchor point. I may anchor point below it. That seems like a waste. I think I'm going to put down... Uh, you can't see it. I think I'm going to put down this card. Like right here. That's not a great anchor point. I'm going to put it right here, I think, and try and anchor right there. So that see if I can't keep him from taking a, t a card in this area. We'll do that. Well... Yeah. My side-to-side -side capture, I think, is good enough with the rest of my deck that I'm hoping I can just take whatever happens up here. They can they could definitely take this from below. Like the plus one ascensions is kind of working in my favor, especially right here. Cause that's nine is effectively an ace. And the eight is effectively a nine. So I can take this right now. Do I want to though? Yeah, we're just gonna take it. We're not gonna overthink it. Good. Now this I can take with he in, I think. I don't really like where I am, but we're gonna put he that there. I'm gonna try and take whatever comes over here. Hopefully they go right there. Yes. Now I can't take that card below it, but it's gonna be a draw. It's gonna work out. I. I think, okay, I didn't lose a card, but. Not great, not terrible. I could have done better. Meh, it was okay. I mean, it is it is what it is. I'm, I'm not very good at triple triad. And most of the player base isn't either. <laughs> I think we were the last match. I do like that, like, you can generally tell if you're playing against a person because, you know, you can click on it. If they're not a person, it's grayed out and you can't click on it. I gotta remember to, to tab on. Please don't be me again. Thank fuck. I hate going first. If it's against, like, certain, some, if, depending on the deck, depending on the deck, that's a just complete anchor. I'm not gonna be able to take that at all. Like, even if I put down this ace, I can't take it. I think we're gonna respond with another anchor. You know what? No, let's respond with, let's just sacrifice that area. This is gonna be easily taken, hopefully by right there. Yeah. So, I think I'm gonna take that card. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna take that corner. This is going to be hard to take. He might have something. He might have some. You he, he need an ace to take that. So I think this is pretty well locked. Yes, that is good. Oh, fuck yeah. Question is what I want to do with it. I think I want to try and play it safe. I may put this guy right here. He'll be able to be taken from that side, though. I could drop this and take that, but this is going to be easy to take. But I can take it back. If he takes it from top or bottom, I can take it back. So we're going to do that. So if he goes top, I can take it from the bottom. And we should be good. Yes, that's exactly what I want. We're going to throw that guy down there. It's going to bump to a five. He's probably going to take it back. Yeah, so it's going to be a draw. Hopefully I didn't lose a card to the draw. No, it's it's a flat draw. I'm happy with draws. I can live with that. My, my dick isn't going to shrivel up and fall off because I got a draw. I think I took a card from him, too. So I think he got a minus one from that. In the captures category. Ah, uh, yes, thank you. Your, uh, your laughter fuels my tiny, tiny ego. That is going to shrivel up and fall.
All right, this person's playing as a Makote. That means they're a serious threat. I just kind of want to at least, if I draw everything, I'm going to be happy. I, my standards aren't that high. I need to remember to swap to which side my cards are not on so you can see them. All right, they're going first. Put down something that boosts the shit out of one of my cards. I mean, it just any of them. I don't really care which. Right, it's so tough doing the first move, right? Ooh, that's not a locked out corner. I will be able to take that. If they put down something that buffs this card, I can take that. I think we're gonna play... Your ego shriveled up a long time ago. It did. I could just take it with this, but it's vulnerable from below. So I don't know if I want to do that. I could put a uh, race Falgar down there and try and anchor that. But that might bait them into putting something there. I can always take that. Yeah, you know what? We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll risk that. I hear clapping. I don't like that. Yeah, so they took it. But they haven't buffed anything yet. I could just straight up take this right now with either of these cards. I'm gonna take it with this card, I think. Yeah. That's gonna be an easy take. I was hoping for this to get buffed, but I was hoping for it to get buffed in such a way that I could put something there. I think we're gonna take this and come back for that. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose this one. Cause I, I, if they put it there, yeah, I'm locked out. I can't take that. So we're just gonna go up here, protect what we have. It'll be another draw. I should be at zero captures though, so. Mm. I, the thing I forget sometimes when I'm doing the, um, these tournaments is you have to keep in mind which direction you have taking advantage. Like I had sidey side taking advantage there and I, 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 we fucking locked up one side of the arena, which meant I couldn't respond to anything. I think that's a, is that a player? That is a player, good for you. I'm gonna see if I can just limit the FPS to 120 in the game and if that'll just do it. Cause it's kind of when the FPS runs, interesting enough, when the FPS gets really high, that's when everything goes to shit. All right, let's run it again. I love, like, if fucking NPCs just having drama behind you. You can see why people like Triple Triad, though. I like the open tournaments because I have... I, I, I just get to blame the cards when I lose. And I'm all about that life, you know? Being a whiny little bitch. Check. I'm looking forward to the cost of building a new PC. Me either. You're not looking forward to it. Yeah, me either. Also, because I just ordered brakes for my... I ordered a set of brakes for my bike. Uh, scratch my arm. So get this. So the brakes that came on my mountain bike, I don't really like them. They're SRAM. I don't like SRAM. I, I like... I think SRAM drivetrains are pretty good. Shimano's are better, obviously. But SRAM's brakes are dog shit. I fucking hate them. I like Shimano. So I'm I'm Shimano certified. I have a bunch of Shimano training certifications. And as a result, I can get a discount. I can get an, a, a discount below cost. So you know, if I buy a part through the shop, I get cost plus 10 is my discount. But if I order it from Shimano, hard to beat Shimano on much, yeah. If I order it from Shimano, I get cost minus I get 50% of cost. That's I get a 50% of cost discount. It's pretty sweet. Um, is there an ascension I can chain here? Wow, this is terrible. I'm gonna take 
this one, I think. Even though I, you know what, I like the sidey side on that one. And, uh, you know what, this looks to have stabilized a lot better now that I limited the FPS in game, so I think we're gonna stick with that. I kinda want this one. I think this one is gonna give me a better balance of power to that one. But that one has titties. Um, Moogle. I feel like the Moogle is gonna buff really well. We're gonna risk it on a biscuit for the Moogle. So, I ordered, I wanna get Saints for my bike. They're called Sh Saints, that's Shimano Saints. That's a down hit, it's a pretty serious break. So, the problem is, is it's just stupid hard to get parts right now. Damn it, I'm going first. As you may know, it's just, there's so many things that are just out of stock and can't be obtained. And Shimano parts are a major part of one. I think that top corner card's gonna be strong. Oh, this one? This one, plus, like, cause this gives me a really good top and down. That gives me a really good that way. And this gives me a pretty good side to side. And I may use this right now to just take that back. Yeah, let's just do that. Hopefully they bite down here as opposed to the top corner. Yeah, I kind of knew they'd go to the top corner. That's okay. Let's take, I can't take anything with this card right now. I need to remember, I need to bait them over here. I can't take much. I may just put the Moogle down over here and just fucking, you know, just yeet the Moogle. I can take that if I put this here, but they're, they're gonna take it there and I can't use that to my advantage. So we're just gonna fucking yeet us, delete us the Moogle. I should have put the Moogle up there. That would have been a better move. Because then they would have taken here and I would have put this guy here. And then hopefully they're dumb enough to go over there. I'm prob... I'm gonna lose this one. Yeah, I've lost this. Just Let's just wrap this up. This is over. I shouldn't have bet betted on them going to that corner. That was fucking stupid. Tore everything apart. All right, that's me out of this tournament. That sucked. Ugh. I don't really like having it like a top down. So I, I think that like corner cards aren't actually that strong. They're good for anchors, but I think they're terrible for taking. Like I think side side cards and like top down cards is just a way better way to build your deck. It's more versatile than a side. Can I not go first? All right, we're gonna just fucking that out there. Hey, right, we're, we're gonna turn off our brains and just put cards on deck. Turn off brain, place card. Hmm, do I wanna take that? I can't take that. Let's try taking this and see what happens. He'll be able to take it back. No, let's do this and hope he puts it there. Oh, you're fucking stupid. It's an NPC though, so you know. I'll take it, I don't fucking care. <laughs> Fuck you, NPC, suck my dick. <laughs> There's only one other player in this and it's this person. They're the only other person, other actual player here. It's open deck, fuck it, yeah. Well, it's open deck for, it's only, it's not open deck. It's random deck. But so, so the breaks, right? So I'm on Shimano's thing. The rear brake is out of stock, and it's out of stock until September. The front brake came into like came into stock yesterday, like at like 5 p.m. They fucking became available, and so I was looking at it. And I'm like, all right, I'm gonna fucking order the front brake. I'm just gonna order the damn thing, and I'll just have it 
And then when the rear brake is available, I'll just fucking buy that. These are $260 brakes a piece. No brake rotor, just lever, hose, and caliper. 260 bucks. My discount means they're 150. So I'm saving $100. And so I'm on the Shimano website and there's brake rotors too. And I kind of want the brake rotors because I have 200 mil brake rotors, which is a SRAM brake rotor. But Shimano has a 203 brake rotor, which is bigger, two or three millimeters. So I want the bigger rotor. So I, I, I find the rotors on the thing. And I'm like, cool. But before I buy these, I'm going to do the last, t I'm going to do 10 more quizzes so I can get a 50% discount as opposed to a 45% discount. So I take about 20 odd minutes, do the rest of the fucking train, do the, you know, the 10 training quizzes, get my 50% discount, go back. How much actual brake surface? Uh, it's not that much braking surface. It's more about the, um, it's diameter. The 203 is diameter. So that's from the, from your, the center to the outside, which gives you a lot more force. The braking surface is about that much. It's, it's, it's a bicycle. The braking surface isn't huge. All right, let's fucking crush this NPC. Um, I cannot take that card. I may just defend right here. Let's do that. Let's just defend right there. I can't take that card either. Fuck! Well, shit whiskers. I need something up here or down here that I can take, but I need them to not, like, to not sacrifice for it. I'm gonna put this here. Thank God. Please don't put something there and take that. I will cry. You can't stop me. Jesus. I almost overthought that one. So I, I went, I did the quizzes, went in, and I was like, all right, place order. And thing is like, mm, one of the things you put on order is out of stock. And I was like, oh my God. Because in the 20 minutes I had done the quizzes, the fucking brake rotors went out of stock. Because of course they did. Who the fuck is buying brake rotors at 9.30 at night other than me? <laughs> Jesus. Of course they did, yeah. So I bought the brake. I was like, fuck it, just buy the brake. Buy the goddamn front brake. So we can have the fucking thing. I'm gonna change my glam. Mm. We're gonna do the 24 man next. I just wanna change my glam first. Let's go with this, it's just, it's classic. Yeah, so I was like, man, it's like I can just order the damn break. Fuck it. Because I'm saving $100 on it. And, you know, your glam is nice. I have that same glam. It was so annoying. I was a 24 man. It's okay. I... I hated it the first time I ran it. I've I've softened on it. I still think it's not as good as Nier. I still think Nier is better. The uh, the Beast Tribe's kind of fun. I already did the Beast Tribe today. I didn't plan on streaming 14 today, so I actually I did the Beast Tribe in like eight minutes before stream. Just fucking blitzed it. I think I went to the wrong place. But if that Lala comes out, I'm going to pet him. Hero's fantastic both for story and raids. Yeah, the story of this one is, it's okay. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I'm kind of indifferent. It involves the 12, so if you're into that kind of thing, it's there.
I'm not overly interested in the 12. The new dungeon's pretty fun. I like the new dungeon. The uh, the new weekly turn in, I'm, I'm digging. I, I have seen the final reward for it. <coughs> I haven't checked. I've deliberately avoided looking at what the final reward is for the um, the beast tribe, but I think I saw someone today who is either using it as part of a quest, because it's typically a mount, and you usually can get it, like, it usually is a mount that you'll use during one of the quest lines, and I think I saw it. Okay. Yes, dude. I don't remember to say hello. Time to judge glams. I know, right? That's exactly what I'm doing. I've seen this glam a lot recently. That's that's a good one. Shirtless is always classic. That guy is just wearing nothing. I'm not saying the glams are weak. They're not. It's just there's nothing really super noteworthy here, I think. You know, I think I'm wearing the most noteworthy glam. Our tanks isn't bad, but it's 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 a bit mad. I think I like that one. This is good, but I really like the one that this uh they're somewhere in the mass. Not all kind of basic. There was one that I kinda liked. Where are they? I'll have to pick them out in a fight. Where are they? Where are they? So it's it's that white mage, I think. Is it this one? No, nope, not you. Yeah, this one. I kind of like that. You know, that's not bad. I'm I, I'm I dig it. Is everyone here? Yes. Oh, we'll, we'll, let's go. So first, we're fighting Byragot. I don't feel like scattering. I'm gonna stand right here. I have been really liking Sage. Sage has been a great time, big fan. It's been fun to kind of learn its, you know, its little idiosyncrasies and how to do it. I like the orange dress on the other one, but Kind of an apples to bananas kind of deal. The orange dress is is from this. I've been trying to get the healing dress from this forever. And the only times it's drops are the times where I decided to get a monk piece instead. Which I actually need to finish dying the monk glam that I've made from here. I just haven't done it. Yeah, so one of the big things with Sage, actually, is, um, is mana consumption is kind of high. Because you're spamming, you know, DPS spells. So, you end up using this Toxicum. You know, you know how with White Mage, the, uh, the Lilies are pretty much a thing that you just ignore most of the time? Lilies being there, you know quick heal things. With Sage, you generally need to build them up every now and then. Not just because your default heal, frankly, sucks, like, a lot. But because, um, look how fast I'm going through mana right now. And Lucid Dreaming helps, but basically, if you just dump in a little Toxicon every now and then, uh, you will be fine. Quick free heal mechanic from Lily. Yeah. But, you know, Lily's proc A. That's that. Lily's proc a, a damage skill. And the damage skill is actually a DPS down. Like, if you actively try to cast Lily's to get the damage skill, it's, it's a DPS down. So you don't 
want to do that. What you end up doing is you just cast it whenever, you know, whenever you happen to have used up three lilies. This one, you proc these purples down here using your shield skills, but only two of them. So this shield skill, this shield skill, and this shield skill. All, if they if the shield gets fully used, then it procs you one of these. So one just got fully used, so it procs. And then you can use that for Toxicon. So I'm gonna do a quick this. Over here. So, hold on, let me, let me dodge this mechanic and then I'll continue talking. But because you use so much fucking mana, What little I played a sage, don't like. Uh, it you have to it has to grow on you, I think. Mainly because it's it's not a region focus. Once you get down realizing that you basically use your Octria and then Diagnosis to just stack like continually update shields on the tank. Like that's how you heal with this with this class, is you you hit this thing. You hit this thing to put a shield on the tank, and then you just go back to casting fucking spells. But you can see, I've used a lot of mana. But, you know, even just dipping in to hit Toxicon every now and then cleans it out pretty well. The biggest thing is... Um, Toxicon you, does the exact same damage as your, your normal attack. But it has the advantage. I'm just gonna stand here, this will be fine. It has the advantage of it's an instacast. So you can't, this is an instacast. So if you're casting it, you can't move, but you can move while using Toxicon. So I'm betting in higher level gameplay, you would literally be sitting on Toxicons specifically for when you needed to do a movement mechanic. So you could keep the DPS up. And it does heal. Like all of your damage skills heal the target of your cardio. So I don't want these. I'm here for one thing and one thing only. The builder has been made to yield. Intriguing. Then the destroyer shall take your measure. After you have provided my servant with some sport. But like I said, I think the biggest thing is just remembering that the basis of your healing is applying shields. Ah, uh, no, I was dumb. It's fine. Yeah, the basis of your healing is applying shields, not casting healing spells. I've found that generally, if you're in a position where you're having to cast a lot of healing spells, everything's very rapidly about to fall apart. So you just don't want to do that. You want to keep the shields up. You want to keep proccing your, um, whatever the hell these purple things are. I don't actually know. Okay, you see, like, right there, I was moving, so I hit my Toxicon for my movement so I could cast a spell when my GCD came up. You also really don't want to stand with the tank on this one, because he, oh, he's doing that one again. So one, once I kind of got that figured out, like, the, oh, fuck me. That that was the name of the game here. It became a lot easier. And my healing became more reliable on it. And I tend to use, um, like, my Haima. The Haima's a fucking cool skill. So, like, because you have a couple of 
uh, really like you have insta a couple of insta cast shields, and they are so good. So get this. So this one, this is the single target insta cast shield. Uh, it's a heal 300, 300 potency heal equivalent shield, which isn't that much, frankly. Ahead stands a statue I have fashioned for our but, contest. What you do have with this is when you cast it on them, it gives them five stacks. And each time the barrier is, a, it, like each time the shield is consumed, it applies another shield five times. And when it's all done, it heals them. So like, if you have a multi-hitting, you know, fucking tank buster, that's gonna, it's gonna take all of the hits. Same with this one. Panheima applies it to everyone in the party and applies the five stacks. So if you have a multi-hitting, you know, raid-wide fucking thing, it's gonna hit for all of the attacks. And of course, it's, it's not gonna proc you for all of them. I think it only procs one of the, uh, the diamonds. But they're really cool. Like the fact that they they have the stacks that get consumed is fucking cool. The other thing is that the um your shield lasts for 30 seconds, which is a pretty good time. So you can just kind of set it and forget it for a period. I'm gonna shield everyone for this. Uh, there's some dead people. All in all, I've been really enjoying it. This Phlegma being a melee skill threw me super hard. Like, you really need to stay in melee with this class. Or at least be where you can get into melee, so that way you can use this one on cooldown, I think. Yeah, look at that. Three tank busters. That's another thing they've done is they've added that marker is like, hey, there's a tank buster coming and they're always AoEs. I, I don't dislike that. I don't love it, I don't hate it. I appreciate it, yeah. I think it's a net neutral, frankly. I think what it takes away from the challenge, it makes up for an accessibility. So let's get another shield on that guy. Also, you have Pepsis, which, haha, Pepsi. Pepsis is pretty sweet. So if you use Pepsis, it consumes the shield that any party member has and converts it into heal. I fat fingered the wrong thing. I thought I was casting something that I wasn't. I do like the 24 man though. I, it has grown on me. I don't think it's, it's, it's like the best thing ever. Like some people said it was, but I think it's a, it's a decent enough time.
So this should be the one where we're all gonna take the uh, the radius. Because the meteor should land on this one. He's gonna punch the blue, I believe. Yeah, so he's punching blue. So we're all gonna be on this side. And that's gonna then transfer into, yep, that. And you can see how much mana I've gone through. Like, I've burned a lot of mana. I did just res someone, but I've burned a lot of fucking mana here. I do say I'm not very good eating oodles of it. Yeah, I'm not very good about keeping my dot up. I do tend to struggle with that. gonna punch red again yeah Impressive. but he's gonna die like a bitch come mortal enter my realm if you dare sage is definitely i think the most active healer Which the shield healers have always been a really a have been really active healers, but I think Sage is even more so because Sage isn't just about predicting when damage is coming out. You also do just use your shields to generally mitigate damage. Pretty zone, yeah. Wait for everyone to get here. I think that's actually the wrong lion. I didn't mark it, but I think that might be the wrong lion. We're gonna find out here in a second. Nah, that might have been the right line. We'll see if this one does the donut. That's not the donut line. You want the donut lion. This donut lion's easier to kill. Oh no, that is the right line, my bad. You want the donut lion to be the second one you take care of, just because it's easier. So once we get this line down, down to that one. I like that it cancels that attack. That's kind of cool. The next fight's pretty, pretty decent. The final fight I think is really the showcase of this 24 man, as, as it always should be. I don't understand how the fuck we had like so many 24 mans that just had dog shit final bosses. Now look at this asshole. Fuck this guy. Just AFK over there. What a bitch. Or is that the guy that went to go get their to go do the dog stuff? Because if it's the dog guy, then that's fine. Okay, that's the dog guy. That's fine. I forgive them because dog. What's your glam? Eh, it's not bad. Wait, are you? A Minfilia copy. Not a Minfilia, a uh, you stole a copy. I always like to pre-shield the bosses. So shields, when they're sitting on a target, don't generate enmity. Casting them does. So if you're like going into mob pulls, you can, if you cast the shield on your tank before, I'll read that in a second, before you um get into aggro range, like basically before it's close enough for it to actually generate enmity, you won't generate enmity. Enmity is the healer and your tank will already have the shield on them. Yeah, yeah, the final fight should be the showcase. It always should be. I mean, you know, video games.
There, there is quite a few games. That have very poor final bosses. There's, there's a couple 24 mans that don't have very good final bosses. Uh, several of the fucking ish, um, ish, uh, the Final Fantasy Tactics ones. I think, I think one of those had a good final boss. I just, I can't remember which one, like, I think the first one had a good boss. The was the first one with the dude who transformed, like, the, the weird frog dude? Because that one fucking sucked. I think that was the first one, and that was trash. Um, the final one was the, the heads dude, like, the Simon Says thing, I think. Were they all trash? They might have all just been trash. I'm starting to think they were all trash. I know that, like, for... Void Arc had a crappy final boss. Dunscape had a really good final boss. Weeping City... What was Weeping City's final boss? I liked Orbone Monastery, but it was a mediocre one. Was that the final one, or was that the first one? I don't remember. All, all of the fucking, um, uh, I guess I'll go over here. Did any of the crystal final? Yeah. Did any of the crystal tower raids have a good final boss? Like that's, that's a question. As Ultima Seraph, I just, yeah, I know it. Yeah, I remember. I just don't. I don't remember really being that into it. That was the Simon Says one, or did that boss come after the Simon Says part? What's well, Ultimate Seraph? This the Simon Says one. After, after Simon Says. I remember it now. Yeah, Ultimate Seraph was fucking great. You're right. That took me a second. Yeah, I remember it now. That one was that was good. That was a good fight. Also, I'm gonna have to put down some heals real quick, otherwise these people are gonna die. Fuck! Mm. Should not have gotten hit by that. That was annoying. Yeah, that one was great. Ultima Seraph was fucking great. Whipping City had the hair lady. And she used it like... No, that's... That's... Um... That wasn't Weeping City, that was World of Darkness. No, that was the one before World of Darkness. Was that Weeping City? No, that was one of the Crystal Tower raids. I'm so confused. Clearly I don't remember these fights very well. I guess it was. I just, because I was like, because Crystal Tower 1 ends with um, the Flare guy. I cannot remember him. Green Lady from the s Staff the Cat Needs. Right. Yeah, because the first Crystal Tower is, um, is the Flare thing with the shield where everyone fucking dies all the time. The second one was... Um, the fucking Ultima or something. I don't remember his name. 
Second one was the Old King. Third one was uh, Cloud of Darkness. Zande, yeah. Third one was Cloud of Darkness. Cloud of Darkness fucking sucked. So all of the Crystal Tower fights suck. Noted. Um, Void Arc had a really boring final fight. Weeping City had a meh fight. Dunscape had a fucking bitchin' final fight. So... That brings us to the, um, the Ibelis raids. Ibelis won... I think ended with the lizard man turning into the dog, which is just one of the worst fucking fights in the game. The second one is, ends in. What are the, the second one ended in what? Their aids as a whole were crap for Crystal Tower. Yeah. Also, this song is great. The Arc Swords, it was the last fight for you, these two. Yeah, that one blew. We're waiting on this guy. Soak in such a stellar composer, I know, right? Look at that, a stacked tank buster. Oh, so good. I love that both as someone who plays a lot of tank and a lot of healer. Like, that's some good shit right there. I'm so bad about keeping my dot up. He's doing fire, run. I don't even want to talk over the song, it's just so good. BRB, fuck you. Does this fight look like it's waiting for you to BRB? Look, I just rescued someone. What do you want from me? Boys over here still casting spells, swift casting, doing everything I got. Run over here, trying to get another spell in. There we go. Uh, 
I don't even like. I'm not entirely certain what's happening next. Okay, that's gonna be fine. I'm fine. This is like shield everyone. Why? I don't fucking know. Probably be okay. Worst thing that can happen is they don't die. I want to see if I can cheese this. I've cheesed this before, and I really want to do it again. Like, I cheesed this one time, and I just really want to do it again. It, I didn't. I cheesed that one time, and I'm just so bummed I've never managed to make it happen since. Also, I am now just fucking dying. <laughs> you know, as as is the case when you just try to cheese something you've ever really successfully cheesed once in your goddamn life. Ah, uh, that was the wrong one. It'll be fine. I was too busy complaining about my own stupidity. And as a result, I enacted my own stupidity yet again. But I lived. Ah, oh, so your about to miss the good part. It's a shame. Two Lala's. Could I aim that better? So I popped that really early. Ooh, don't be there. I like this part, because the first time I did this, I just genuinely didn't know what the fuck was happening. I'm not going to explain it. Oh no, we need to be on this side. Come on. Come on, don't, don't fucking, don't fucking do us that way. Hey, look at my petrification. That's kind of funny. I'm just gonna enjoy it for a moment. Fuck it. Who cares? that bit. I have died to that four times than I care to admit. And I forgot to apply my die. Are we doing blue or are we doing red? I'm suspicious. Okay, we're doing blue. He's changed it before and it's very impolite because I'm fucking stupid. And I need all the help I can get. Oh yeah, don't don't be there. I need the orchestra for this. Oh, they died again. No. My mana and also your life. He's detonating red. Listen, I'm gonna, oh God, it's a tank. Oh, oh, that looks painful. I'm casting res on him. Do we have a red mage? No, okay. And I will be here a hot second. All right, he's good to go.
All right, weekly done. Do I get my chess piece? And I don't even know if I want any more. There it is. Oh, please don't roll on it, Mira. I've been trying to get this chess piece for so long. Be a sport. Definitely need this orchestrion. Yeah. Please give me the chess piece. Mira, I will suck your dick. There's no way I'm gonna get this from Mira. I rolled a 20. <laughs> I'm just putting Mira, please, in the chat. <laughs> I need the chest, I need it. <laughs> I'm going to give him a commendation, anyways. I, they rolled an 8, I rolled a 20, so I am going to get it. I think. <laughs> yes! And I think I got two orchestrians out of that. I kind of cleaned house on that. That was pretty good. God, I never get reward. There's rewards from the near raids that I still don't fucking have. So, Fun fact, if my knowledge is correct, this robe is actually best in slot. It's it's a good fucking robe. Look at that. I need to do that more. Yeah, like look at that. This is a good fucking robe. That's good shit. I, I should show you the monk outfit I've got. Two orchestrians in the bag. We'll go in here and I'll show you the, uh, actually, I should get the die first. What die? Put your clothes on. What die is it that I need? It? I need dragon blue die, which I think comes from firmament. Let's run and grab that. I don't even know why I was standing there. I have no fucking clue what I was doing. Wow, look at that outfit. That was something. Oh, we're going to the firmament. The firmament. <sighs> there is a feat. All right, I guess we're doing the feat. I'm gonna do it as of that. Go, 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 go. Look at this dude. That, look, look at this, look at this. That is an outfit. That is, that is, an, I wish I had that kind of confidence. A lot of people are without pants on in here. Fucking crafter glams, I tell you, like there, like this person's wearing the 2B pants and titty top. You got this, I have this outfit. It's so good. You've got me in this fucking thing, which is just a good outfit. You got the aprons. You got this dude all gangstered out. That person's wearing the wolf set and a bikini. That person's looking pretty good over there. That guy, like it's good outfits. It's good times. You've got the butt crack skirt. Just get ripped. I say it like it's just that easy. Yeah. Even if I was jacked, I don't think I'd wear that. Lies? <laughs> I don't know. I, we are waiting for the next feat to start. Start like I just—I I had no interest in going and grabbing the previous one.
I like that there's still a crowd of people that comes in here to run this. Ah, that guy, that guy's got an emo fucking, he's got a, ma a glam macro, so he snaps his fingers and changes his outfit. That's just slick. I'm gonna move my microphone a bit, just, just over there. Oh, they've got the bull pup. Nice. That is an awesome idea. Yeah, it is. I've seen someone do it with the uh, with red mage. So, like, they hit the macro and it does the uh, the victory pose. And like, as they throw the sword, they swap glams, and then and then the emo does the fucking eye thing. Don't you dare. Fuck you. <laughs> Last time I tried to do this event, it crashed too. This is bullshit. <laughs> Behold my desktop. I, I don't think my GPU is in good state. Fuck you, game. So something I'm debating, you know, with the with the upcoming GPU and me going to a new case and stuff, I am wondering if I just want to build a new fucking computer, like entirely. Like, none of my parts are bad. Well, my CPU and motherboard and RAM aren't bad. And they're not that old, but like, may as well, I don't know. My, like, it's, it's, it's still kind of up in the air. Part of the thing is, is I don't even know if I'd bother. I mean, I maybe just, may just upgrade the CPU. I mean, I've got, I've got 32 gigs of fucking RAM already at 4,000 megahertz. Like, I've got a lot of fast RAM. I've got a pretty strong CPU. I think, I think I'm think i gonna stick with upgrading my graphics card and my memory setup. And by that I mean, I'm... I was talking to some dudes about this and they're like, why would you swap out your hard disk that just stores data for, you know, M.2s. And I'm like, I don't fucking know, I want to, like. Do I need a reason? I don't wanna have hard drives anymore or solid states, they're outdated. I'd rather have a NAS at this point, I think, for super long-term storage. Fresh drives are awesome. That's what I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna drop like 500 bucks on updating all of the memory, like all of the storage in the computer. Like, I think that's the move. Ah, uh, it's too early. Sounds good, yeah. Because I, I mentioned about my idea for, um... I need an artisan. You're a merchant. Where's an artisan? There. I mentioned, you know, the thing of... Uh, you know, getting a, a fucking PCIe slot card and just putting M.2s in it. And I, I'm still leaning towards that. It's gonna cost like 500, five, 600 bucks to do it. But I think I'm also just gonna decrease the number of drives in doing it. Was this for kids? I don't fucking remember. It was not, it's for merchants. So I think that's the route I wanna go, you know? You know? And also, think about all the fucking cables I'm gonna lose. I wanna set up a NAS as well, but also gonna set up a server closet for all that. But my thing about setting up a NAS is I think that only makes sense if you're running a fat gigabit network switch, and I'm just not. 
And and I've I've tried network storage stuff before, and I've never really loved it. Do you think that person does that specifically to get their boobs to jiggle? I'm asking for a friend. Yeah, I've, I've thought about it. Once I get my own home, my home network is going to be loaded. Oh, fuck yeah. I do think, like, I was talking to someone the other day, and they're like, I still think two computers is the way to go for streaming. And I just don't agree. Of course, you need to have them jiggle physics. Fun fact, at uh, higher frame rates, jiggle physics d get decreased. The frame rates the game normally runs at for me, I get no jiggle physics. The more you know. But yeah. I was talking to someone, they're like, oh, it's, I think two streaming PCs is still the way to go. Which tells me they're just so not up on current trends. Because it's hella not. I'm not actually concerned about getting a lot of feet tokens because I'm gonna let you on a secret. I've already I've already got a lot of feet tokens. <laughs> um do they have what I need in here? It looks like they don't. If Pearl White die. Gunmetal black. I think I'm out of gunmetal. I may need to get yeah, I need to get some more gunmetal. And I'm not out of Pearl White, but I could do with more. Let's let's restock a bit on gunmetals. I do use those a lot. And we'll get five more of these too, because fuck it, we're here. It's unnecessary these days with how powerful CPUs and GPUs are. Like if you if you really want the oomph, just get a fucking thread ripper. You know? It's gonna do ya. And I saw something like, eh, I don't know about that. I'm like, dude, I CPU encode a, a reasonably high quality stream. You know, I'm running, what was I running? I'm running 980. It's just a step below 1080. And if you think you need to stream it above 1080, you're a fucking retard. And i9 slash Ryzen 9 will more than cover that easily. And just Threadripper if you're feeling spicy, you know? I'm making sure I have everything in here while we're here. Ooh, I don't have two of the things. What is this? I don't have a couple of things in here. This is ridiculous. I have to get those. Uh, I need to die though. That's really what I'm here for. I know fucking it. Is it under normal scripts? Where is it under? Gear and furnishings? Nah. Check that on. Predator is just oodles of power. It is. Must be in here. There they are. Um, Dragon. I think it was Dragon Blue. Put your clothes on. Yeah, Dragon Blue. Dragoon Blue, excuse me. I don't have Dragoon Blue kicking around, do I? Okay, we're going to buy a couple of those. Just get four of those. We got to get those orchestra balls. I like to mug miners. Wow. That's so edgy. Edo Bandito. Wow, do I want What Is Love or Skyrise? I'll do What Is Love for now. I'm gonna have to come back. Oh, I can get Skyrise right now. Never mind. Good, now I have all of it again. Like, if you have to brute force everything, get a Threadripper. Threadripper is just a fucking server CPU, anyways. It's not edgy to mug miners. Yeah, it is. They are pickaxes. You're very sharp. You can't be sharp without edge. It's fair game if they're just standing there. Listen, if I told you about the time that I got mugged, because it's it's honestly not that interesting, I think that the story of me getting mugged is funnier than it is, apparently. Like, no one I've talked to has thought me getting mugged is as funny as I do. So, like, eh. 
What should really tell you about, I got, yeah, I've been mugged. Listen, I was in downtown Atlanta by fucking Olympic Park at three o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. <laughs> like, yeah, of course I got mugged. What the fuck else is gonna happen? <laughs> Yeah, I got mugged. I got these two dudes came up to me and they fucking told me to give them all their all my money. So I pulled out my fucking wallet, opened it and pulled both dollar. I had two one dollar bills. Just open that bitch up, pulled it out and handed it to him and fucking like, here you go. And then kept walking. <laughs> Someone asked me, like, what were you doing out at three o'clock in the morning in downtown Atlanta? And my response was getting mugged, obviously. Duh. <laughs> Fuck do you think I was doing? The best part is the guy who was asking me that is this, is a cop that I used to know. I also forgot if I have been here with this username before. I just assume that if someone comes in and says something vaguely edgy, it's usually Beyblade. I don't know if you're Beyblade or not. I don't overthink it. It's not really that much of a concern. I also really need to pee. Beyblade didn't even notice that I changed my fucking username. <laughs> Nerd. Yeah, look at this glam. Aha, glamour. I've been, I've been wearing this glam a lot. I'm gonna use this when I do the, um, the dungeon tier list. I'm gonna wear this glam and I'm gonna do Sage. That's the plan at least. Yeah, this is the monk glam I put together. I put this together the other day and I still don't know how I feel about it and I literally haven't used it. I can't tell what's different. That's because you're retarded. I'm going to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Talk amongst yourselves. I may even complain while I do it. You know, fucking spice it up a little. Burr, burr, burr. I hate life. I don't know. Todd Howard. It's time for more stream. I don't want to go to work tomorrow. Well, fuck you, I had to go today. <sniffs> Listen here, you two-bit biscuits of bitch. All you have to do is try and vomit and call in sick. Hey, not if you want to pay fucking bills. <laughs> Oh, but I could do my new glam. We should do the new glam. Let's, why did I open the fucking glamour chest? What is the point of anything I do ever? Yeah! Blue monk! Yeah! Monk! Well then tell him to fuck off. Not if you want to stay employed. <laughs> oh my God. I need to build a new PC. Skipping work is not an option. Let me tell you about what happened at work earlier this week. So, our manager was out sick with COVID, right? And, you know, 
So naturally, one of our employees took this as the opportunity to just be a f absolute fuck up. Because he is a fuck up. So, you know, ooh. Yeah, material. So, we're working on a bike down in the service area. Someone came in, we needed to take the pedals off the bike for them, so we were doing that. And these pedals were fucking fused into the fucking crank arms. And so we had two people, one person holding the, the pedal and the bicycle, and the other person holding the wrench. And the wrench for pedals is about a foot and a half long. It's a big fucking wrench. Those pedals go on really tight. And so we're trying to break this fucking pedal loose. And this fucking shithead 20 year old that we have hired, and if he's watching, you already knew what I thought of you. Anyways, the shithead 20 year old is fucking, is like walks by and he's just like, oh, you're doing that wrong. And one of the guys I work with goes, of course they are. Of course they're doing it wrong. And he starts, he starts in, what is your glamor? That's not bad. I like that. Is that just all? Yeah, it's all your heart. That's pretty good. And so he, he's like, fucking, you're doing it wrong. Bra, bra, bra. And he just keeps like, you're going to hurt yourselves. You're doing it wrong. Blah. And he's not saying anything constructive. He's just repeating you're doing it wrong. And I fucking, let, like, without looking at him, I just go, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and there's a customer standing behind me. And I'm just like, shut the fuck up. And he's like, what? And I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Go away and shut the fuck up. <laughs> and I just say that out loud. I just say it like three or four times. And he's like, oh, and he gets really upset. And he's like, well, see if I ever try and help you again. And blah, blah, blah. And he just storms upstairs and starts fucking like banging stuff around and whatever. This is the first day my manager is back from having COVID. My manager comes out and he's like, what the fuck is that sound? And we're like, oh. Uh, James told the told this other dude to shut the fuck up, and now he's upstairs upset. And so my manager went upstairs and told him to shut the fuck up and do his work. <laughs> but like after I told him to shut the fuck up, and he got mad and stormed off up the stairs, one of the dudes I work with just like he without even turning around from the computer he's working at just fucking did this over his shoulder. <laughs> It was so funny. Fuck that kid. Let me tell this kid. Let me tell you about this kid, all right? This kid is 20 years old and his daddy is rich. And he has no plans for going to college. He has been fired from several jobs. He's just a fuck up and he thinks he's hot shit. And he thinks he knows everything. Like he's one of those dudes. You know when you were really young and this may not this this is going to be a mystery to you, Beyblade, but I promise you that this is true. When you're really young, you tend to think that things that you have and have interacted with and have knowledge are, are the best. And you will find as you get older that that's almost fucking never the case. Like you may go, oh, well, my parents drive X car because it's the best. And uh, uh, no, <laughs> that's almost never the fucking case. Like you, as you're, you're, breadth of experience expands, you will understand how shit that you have is just not automatically the best. This kid has not figured that out. And so he's perpetually saying dumb shit. Everything can stop being the best with a simple swing of a baseball bat. Yeah. So he's perpetually saying dumb shit. Like the other day we were talking about bike racks. We sell a really good bike rack for your car. It's fucking damn near the best thing on the market. And he's like, the one my parents have is better. He's 20 goddamn years old. And he's like, the rack my parents have is better. And I'm like, are you a fucking child? And also fuck no, it isn't better. Cause whatever it is probably isn't this rack, which is the best on the market. And he's like, oh yeah, we have one of these. And he shows me this fucking rack and I'm like, yeah, a compensator. And he's like, what the, What do you mean a compensator? And I'm like, it's a rack for people with tiny penises. <laughs> it's just what I said. <laughs> Which he didn't like. What a surprise.
Like, pfft. dude's constantly doing that. Like his his view of the world is so limited. It's fucking insane. Oh no! That poor Sprout! Ooh. Ooh, we got a new tabletop item. Cool. I'll have to go look at that. Pretty much he had an ego and didn't recognize quality. He he his reference of the world is so condensed into No, not the sprout again! I think it's I think it's over. I think this thing's going. I it might not be. It's it's going so slow it may be thick. Sounds like his view is condensed to my daddy spent X on things so it's the best. It kinda is. Like he's just got a really narrow view of the world. What a loser, pretty much. So, so get this. I don't know what's happening here. I really want to tag it just to get credit. I think they're, they're, they're gonna reset, we're gonna wait. So, it's just, man's you can fit in a damn tuna can, pretty much. Oh, is that the pull time? Are we going? We're going. What a fucking shit show this hunt was. That was funny. Yeah, and... So get this, so, yeah, fuck it, I'll just tell. So his dad is an executive for Home Depot. And their, Home Depot's headquarters is in Atlanta. So, also, I like, fucking, this, y'all ain't gonna get this, but fucking props to, like, everyone at this hunt right now for fucking keeping it in their pants until the pull time. Like, that's fucking crazy. Y'all don't fucking, y'all may not get it, but that's fucking insane. I have never seen that happen. And so he worked at a bike shop and got fired twice. Then his dad got him a job at a Home Depot, which he then got fired from. And his dad is a fucking Home Depot executive. So he got, I don't know what he did to get fired, but he got fired from a Home Depot and his dad is an executive to Home Depot. Damn. How do you fuck up that level of job security? And now he works for us, and we're trying to get him fired because we fucking hate him. <laughs> I thought once that sprout pulled, that boss was dead. I did too. I like how people are like, not the sprout. No. 
At least I was. Oh, there's an A rank! Man, I don't get a lot of things. I only have a quarter of my half brain cell. Drank a lot, too much iced tea. Yeah, I feel that. Typically, a hunt in this at this level range just gets ganked immediately. What if we should just kill it? Blink and AR hunts are dead as fuck. Yeah, I mean, I solo hunt them. We'll just do a quick shout, you know. Do my due diligence. Hey, if no one says anything in shout, I think we're good to go. On up, there's someone. What the fuck are they wearing? That is a choice. Yeah, it's 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 nuts. This this fucking kid. Well, I've tried to invite them. I've done my 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 attempts. I once fucking know why my computer can run Arc with all its DLCs, but not fucking Rust because Rust was not as well optimized. It's just fucking arc about. Yeah. Oh yeah, Raven. Um, ha have I told you that I got a mount? I oh yeah, I'm supposed to be queuing for expert roulette. What the fuck am I doing? Oh good, here we go. I, uh, got me a mount the other day. I'll show it to you after the dungeon. You'll see. But it's an extreme mode trial. God damn it, I didn't want this dungeon. <laughs> I mean, it'd be what it'd be. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful blue star. <laughs> I like that outfit. That fell to pestilence. So, uh, for a quick thing, so I've put my shield on them already. The more it's peaceful, so they the forgot to aggro them. The more they suffered. But yeah, because I've got the shield on them already, I'm not generating enmity until I hit it again. Ah, yes, I remember going through this and crying a lot. That was a night. I know the answer to this, but Raven, have you ever gone back and looked at this fucking, like, super late night stream of me going through this? Like, my face was swollen. It was a thing. Yeah, I was in tears. Dude! It fucked me up. Yeah, it was so good. Dude, one of the one of the new quests they added with the with the latest patch 
had me fucking tearing it up. Like, it, it, didn't, it didn't fucking fully do me in, but it got me close, dog. I bet, yeah. So, like, right about over here, I'm gonna hit him with the shield again. So that way it'll run into the group of enemies. Also, ugh, frame rate. So, hold up. Then, I won't aggro these. The last two expansions have been stellar. They've been so good. So, one of them picked me up. The other ones did not. So, once this goes away, we're going to get him with another one. Cool. And then we're just going to drop some stuff here. And we're just going to do some Toxicons. Just to put out some numbers. Right about now, we we'll want to go back in for another shield. So what I did there is I put shields up that protect me and everyone else so I could watch them. It's also worth noting this AoE skill that I'm currently spamming, you can use without a target, which means you don't have to do target. What I find works really well is you put this shield on them. So you put your shield on and you prep another shield immediately. Because if they're going to take a fuck ton of damage and need another shield, you'll be ready for it. And if not, you can go ahead and start using your AoE skill until the time comes for you to put it on again. So going in here, they've got shield up, so we're just going to get ready to put a dot on the boss. Those who lived and festered. Those who died and decayed. Ooh, you like how I used the Toxicon right as I procced another one? That was, that was slave. You may not know this, but that was slave. Not like, you know, jerk yourself off, but like, you know, kind of a half pat on the back. Go ahead and do lucid dreaming and just keep spamming my fucking attack. And forget that I didn't put the dot back on the boss again. Because I am the worst. I am the worstest. I am the peanut. Cuckoo kachoo. You abandoned me, you bitch! That was so rude! I am not commending. Yep. I am not commending that Black Mage. This is the ones that made me wish I opted for Reaper over Black Mage. Yeah, I can see that. Fucking Lollafells. Yeah, fuck you, come to me. I'm mildly salty about that. Thank the spaghetti monster for the red mage. Yeah, right. Otherwise, this would this would have probably been a wipe. I, I suppose I could explain what happened there, but I think Beyblade is left, so I'm not going to. Tell you what, though, I really got to build my viewer base back up in terms of Twitch, unfortunately. I 
I've given it some more thought, and I'm still tossing around the idea of doing Red Dead 2. But, like, I'm, I'm hesitant to do it because it's just such a long game. And I don't know if I want to be streaming a long game like that. I think if I do it, I think I'm going to have to add a third day back to the streaming schedule. You know, I, I think I need to go back to having 14 being a constant. Like, do 14 at least once a week. And then do something else in addition. Like, I feel like 14 is just going to end up being my core game. In a faraway place. A brilliant star eradicated disease. Kind of like how some other people had, um... Before destroying the self-same lives... Uh, Darkest Dungeon is their core game. Which, uh... I just wish I knew people who would like would watch and I could use them as a jumping off point because I really think that is the key for Twitch growth. Isn't it wild to think that like of all of the fucking people, of all of the viewers I've had over the two years I've been streaming, Beyblade is like the third most reliable. What the fuck? <laughs> that occurred to me when I was going to the bathroom, like, Beyblade's one of my most regular viewers. It's Ugh. Or at least one of the most long-term viewers. But you, you did notice that the F-Truck has a rotating version now, right? Sorry, I just sidetracked. Like, speaking of long-term, you, like, you, you, you noticed that, right? You, like, you saw that? I, like, you saw that, right? You did? Good. There you go. Ah, Aurelius is here. Aurelius probably heard me talking shit. I wanted the, I'm gonna do the new dungeon tonight. I really want to get more gear out of it. It's just, I'm torn. There's so much good gear right now in terms of glamour fodder. The new dungeons got primo glamour fodder. The 24 man's fucking great. And the, the, the tome gear is phenomenal. It's just, ah. How's a man supposed to choose? He felt it in his bones that you were talking shit, probably. Bum, 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 bum. But listen, I'm not streaming tomorrow because I, I'm having dinner tomorrow at 6.30 with my family. But next week, we're starting fucking Hildebrand. I swear with Todd Howard as my witness. Next Saturday, Hildebrand, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Gross family obligations. Yeah. I don't think exclamation point triggers Todd. Which is a shame. It really should. It used to. Hey, I, I, I have to look at it. Yeah, see, that didn't seem to trigger Todd. I, honestly, that seems, seems to break every now and then. I'm not entirely certain what it is. It could also just be a matter of, you know, having changed the name. I don't know if the, the changing the channel name fucked everything up or not. I don't think it did. Super thing broke itself. I mean, it does that. That's very Todd Howard, though. But, uh, my, the, the, the follow thing, you know what, I bet it did, I bet it's tracking the wrong Twitch channel. My chat, I forgot to change the chat bots targeted, uh, chat as well. But 
So that also isn't working tonight. So many things that I forgot about until literally the last fucking minute. I need to show you the new D&D shit I got too. Because my packages came in, so I got some more D&D shit in the mail. I, I saved the red mage. Calm your tatas. Yeah, I got a bag. Kinda hype for it. Look at me squeezing these cheeky casts in here. Should probably get another uh, Toxicant built up. The thing is, is Toxicon isn't a DPS down necessarily. Those people are in danger. I am going to need to heal them. Because it does the exact same damage as the normal cast, but it just does it as an insta-cast. I'm standing on a dead person. Wow, that did fuck all healing. How is this red mage so squishy? And when one asked, what is the point? There were none left to answer. If I wasn't healing, I'd go fix my stream elements right now. But I am. Well, I'll need to do that later. I'll probably do that tomorrow when I get home, is I'll fix all the... I'll go through and try and fix all my stream stuff. Father still existed a star without strife. I like this part. When none remembered life's trials, or its joys. I do feel like that this is the most fucked up of all of the worlds. Although I've, I've found that each person I've talked to has a different world that they think is the most horrible. I think this one's pretty horrible because it's effectively, they created a world so perfect and so peaceful that their only thing, like their only salvation from the world that they created was to fucking create a thing to kill them. That was it, that's all they had left. Shit's kind of fucked. Because if you look below, their world is a wreckage. Like, that's the rest of their world down there. Just a fucking what barren wasteland. Sounds odd. Go and see the problem here. Pretty much. I mean, a, a lot of this part of the, the plot line is effectively about how Medion went out to find other worlds, and all she found was worlds that were brought to ruin through the pursuit of perfection. Basically, the worlds achieved perfection, and as a result, all that was left was oblivion, basically. Or worlds where they just fucking killed each other. Because that's what this last one is. It's basically they achieved perfection and in the perfection lost at basically everything that made them want to live. It's told a lot better through the story than I could, you know, elucidate.
perfection in different aspects at the end of each. Yeah. Because one of the other societies you meet so a base, basically went from being, you know, normal living flesh creatures to hyper intelligent goo beings. And they fucking hated it. Like, basically, once they had achieved everything and there was nothing left, then they were just left with nothing. Please don't die. Wait, what they made was perfect, but they hated it. I love your soul's answer to them goo beings, though. Yeah. It, it kind of builds off the concept that if there is no trials and tribulations to overcome, then there's nothing to find joy in. Basically, is this the Matrix? More like the Animatrix, haha <laughs> jokes. I love that like the the lore of the Matrix is better explained through the Animatrix than it is through the Matrix. Just saying. Because the Animatrix is trash. Just like the the animated Halo, which is also garbage. this fight. Fuck me. I've done this dungeon a lot. Have you ever had a thing where, like, basically you were stuck at home for a few days, and you just kind of ran out of stuff to do? Good fight, long as hell. Yeah. Like, you just kind of ran out of shit to do, and it ended up being really kind of tedious and frustrating as you just kind of waited around. I mean, that's effectively the concept. That, but a lifetime is worth. So I get it. Like, I can fully understand the idea behind this, I think. Why did that not fucking... Why are you so far away? How am I supposed to fucking heal you from across the goddamn room? Fucking black mage, you're not wrong. I was like, I used literally a big dick heal and it didn't hit them because it's a fucking AoE. Hooray. Oof. I'm commending the red mage. I feel like they deserve it. Or can I get away with moving the least? Apparently where you also won't get healed. They also left first. I got two commendations though, which I think I deserve. Yeah, let me show you the mount. Red Mage is golden. Yeah, I think the Red Mage is pretty good. I got this thing. It's a kitty cat with wings. 
that's weirdly fleshy. I got it from the new try, the new extreme mode. I got it on. I want to say like my eighth or ninth run. I got it pretty early. I'm happy with it. I think it's kind of cool. Okay, I, I really want to do the new dungeon. I'm trying to get gear out of this thing for other classes. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I do need to check for... Yeah, I need to remove materia from some stuff. But what I really need is a better graphics card. I'm still iffy on the new uh, 4000 series that's in the works. Like, 600 watts estimated is, you know, it's all well and good for tech reviewers and stuff to be like, fuck yeah, more power, more performance. But I got, like, I got to pay my own bills. I'm, I'm not rolling in the dough over here, you know? Like, having, having a fucking... A GPU consuming a small country's worth of fucking power doesn't really appeal to me. You know? Normie's got electricity bills. Yeah, like, not saying that they don't, but I am saying that... You know, they make more money than I do. Because they do. As soon as this is done, I need to pull uh, Materia out of that one. Okay, that'll work. I gotta keep on top of my spirit bonding, yo. Yeah, I, like, I don't know how I really feel about that. I also really don't want to buy another fucking power supply. Making really consider a 30. Yeah, me too. I, I don't think I'm going to go for a 30. I think buying a 30 series GPU is going to be doing yourself a disservice. But maybe an AMD instead. You know? You know, maybe I end up doing AMD again. Because I'm betting the new AMDs are going to be stronger than the 30 series. I have nothing to back that up. That's just my theory. We could end up seeing the 40 series just blow everything out of the water. I honestly don't think that's going to be the case, though. I also, I just, I don't think 600 watts for a single fucking GPU makes any goddamn sense. The Sapphire 69, uh, 650, yeah. Well, the, the 7,000s are coming out at the end of this year is the thing with the AMDs. I mean, my, my 6,900 was a, or 6,800 XC was a good card. It just fucking died and pissed me off when it did. But like, the fucking NVIDIA is so goddamn expensive. That's the other thing. If if we really see NVIDIA GPUs running 600 fucking watts, how much is that gonna cost in terms of an actual fucking price? Like, are we looking at two grand for a 48, like 4080? I don't wanna spend two grand for a 4080. Like, I mean, I, I might, I just, I don't wanna. I, I kinda, like, to me, Computer components are so unreliable that investing that much into a single component, especially one that breaks as much as a fucking graphics card does, doesn't make sense to me. Sadly, you've had many issues with AMD GPUs, so reluctant to get. Yeah, but I mean, honestly, I've only had two in videos. And this one is not doing it for me.
But if it comes down to like buying an AM, if the Nvidia's end up just blowing the AMDs out of the water, then I'm probably gonna get an Nvidia. But I do not want to buy a fucking power supply. Feel me? I, that's that's really high up on those things. I don't want to do. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's other people that ended up going with AMD. Oh fuck me. That's okay. I'm stuck getting as power slot for new builds. Not my issue. Yeah. Well, the thing is, so if it's a 6,000, 600 watt GPU, in theory, a thousand watt power supply will do it. But the thing is, one of the things that is dis being discussed is if this is in fact this, you know, what they're talking about is true with how much wattage it's going to use, is that it's going to need a new, like it might have a new plug. That's, that's the rumor mill is that it's going to have a new plug type, which means that current power supply is probably going to be able to plug into the fucking thing. Like, that that's thats a big concern. Is that current power supplies just aren't going to be compatible because you can't plug it in. I've already got a thousand watt power supply. I don't want to buy another one. I don't need to buy another one. It works. The fucking power supply. You know? This mirror thing acts as a spawner. So it needs to die ASAP. Hope they're just off for an adapter. I hope they don't use 600 fucking watts. My power bill is $150 a month. Like, I live in fucking Georgia. I already spent a goddamn fortune on air conditioning. Not to mention powering this fucking thing. 600 watts is ludicrous. It just is. Like, I'm a power user. I just am. I Like, I have a fucking stonking great computer. I just don't have a good GPU right now because availability. So I'll probably, like, if I have to do it, I'll do it, but I don't like it. And also, if, you know, if you want to make any kind of fucking claims to being eco-conscious, which, you know, I guess people tend to forget that, you know, the just because you're paying for the goddamn power for your fucking computer doesn't mean it's still coming from nowhere. Like, you're still using a lot of fucking grid energy for that. I live in California, come out with your power problems. Listen, we don't have power problems, and Georgia has... Here's the thing you have to keep in mind. Georgia has some of the lowest power bills in the country. Like, keep that in mind. So my power, like, my actual, like, price per kilowatt hour is probably less than yours by a lot. So think about how much wattage I have to be running on air conditioning. It's hot in this room. I had to get a second fucking air conditioner just to cool this piece of shit house I live in. Because the air conditioner we have is garbage. And all of these lights in this room are all LEDs. That and two high-end computers. Yeah. Which honestly don't really fuck up the heat as much as you might think they would. That computer isn't even running anymore. I turned that off when the Valheim update came out. I was just like, I'm not super eating my room anymore. So like, I'll do it, 
but I have some serious complaints about it. Also, Ray, at least, if you're still here, just a heads up, I have decided I give up. I give up on fucking Horizon Zero Dawn. It's just dog shit. I don't want to play it anymore. I'm bored. I don't want to play it anymore. I want my money back. Oh, you tried. It was pretty boring. Like, let's be frank. It was pretty fucking boring. Thank you. I appreciate the app. Like, I think when I read a thing where someone's like, you really have to play Horizon Zero Dawn for the story. And I'm like, the story's shit. What are you talking about? It's like watching a porno for the plot. Like, God. Lol, I agree. I'm running out of inventory slots. That's kind of exciting. What do I have? Probably nothing I really need. But like I said, dude, next week is Hildebrand. And, and very least, you've had no exposure to Hildebrand. So I will tell you right now, Hildebrand is uh, funny as fuck. So it will be a good time. I'll try to be here for that. Hildebrand is some quality gaming. Hildebrand's also going to probably take a couple of, at least two streams for the first part of Hildebrand. And then there'll be more Hildebrand as the expansion goes on. I'm so excited for Hildebrand. I hope there will be a Hildebrand recap. We're, we might need one of those. It has been three fucking years since we got our last Hildebrand. Also, it's so weird to talk about, you know, video game storylines and stuff in references of years with a game that's continually coming out. Also, my back itches. Good lord. Good shit. Oh yeah, Raelius, uh, I forgot to ask, how do you like the rebrand of the channel name? Also, did you notice that I changed the channel name? So I put a fucking announcement in the goddamn Discord, so like, if you didn't notice, that's gonna tell me that you don't listen to the announcements in the Discord. You did. I think, like, the gaming and Tiny Neko Gaming really kind of cheapened the image of the channel a bit. Like, you know, it's like, oh, you couldn't have Tiny Neko, so you put gaming on it. Wow, fucking creative. Stop dying, stop dying, stop dying, stop dying. I've been stunned! No! I think the tiniest Neko, just it sounds better. 
It's more definitive. It's a bit snappier. And I'm just fucking bad at coming up with names anyway, so. At the very least, I think we can all agree it is an improvement. Why are you standing in the spikes? I thought you were rebranding to start your career as a VTuber. God, no. Although I, I'm reasonably confident I could probably pull that off. I just am repulsed by it. Listen, man, I'm on goddamn, you know, fucking internet browsing my wholesome anime titties. And suddenly there's fucking VTuber goddamn doujins showing up everywhere. And this is bullshit. I don't need their filth corrupting my wholesome, wholesome, um, what's a good, uh, Tokyo Ghoul Hentai. Fuck it. That sounds dumb. I don't know why someone would want that, but I bet it exists. Also, I, I'm just not gonna pay someone to make a VTuber avatar. I just, I'm not gonna do it. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it? It's anime. You know, if it exists, there's porn of it is entirely applicable to anime. Oof, they have chosen wrong. Who's cutting it close? Anyways, what was I talking about that wasn't anime titties and VTubers? The channel name. Yeah, channel name is pretty good. No one else has voiced their opinion on it except for my roommate. So I don't actually know if anyone likes it or not. But I, that's that's two out of four people that I've asked who voiced an opinion. And they were both positive. So, you know. Bleh. I'm going to commend the DPS, because they deserve it. Give me that orchestrion, or I will... Oh... Fuck. Didn't get it. There's too much shit in my inventory. That's what the fuck I got. Too much garbage. Alright, let's go to Old Daw and clean this out real quick. I got the mount. It's kitty cat. Meow, meow. <laughs> Nothing new there. What, my inventory being full? True that. I need to go to bed. Oh, look at these edgy McEdgersons. This dude is dancing there every fucking time I come to Ulda. You're always loaded to the gills with garbage. I'll have you know some of this garbage is worth money. Like that feather. And that the Tolkien's. Um. Oh, I, I I should turn this these fish in. The dyes are good. Dyes are good. I got some glamour stuff up here. You know, all this food is very useful. You know, when I remember to use my uh, spirit bonding equipment too, I, like that's really good because I can get materia for that. So there's there's some useful stuff in here. I don't know if all of it's useful. But... Who's judging? You want to see my new D&D bag? I've never actually owned a D&D bag. I just had a, a messenger bag I used. So, I splurged and got myself a D&D bag. He's judging. Suck my dick. So, you're going to like this. 
so bag, right? You got your flap, you open it up, and you got a couple layers, top layer, boom, mini storage. Currently, it just has some wooden minis that I bought. Uh, they're like, they're generic player minis that I picked up for cheap. They're laser cut wood and uh, just because I know the one you'll want to see is dog. The dog, that's good. You got your dog, you got your, um, this is Northland Spider, which I think is a fucking Pathfinder thing. I see Fat Pikachu in the back. Well, of course Fat Pikachu's in the back. It's my legal counsel. It's got mini storage. Which is nice. And then below that... I actually haven't put everything in this yet. I put basically nothing in yet. Below that, you have your book storage for books and stuff. Then you have your front pocket. You know, pretty standard front pocket. You got your little mesh thing, all that jazz, good shit. You have two straps. It's just black on black. Everything I own is black. Two straps right here. These are for maps. Like if this is actually a D&D &D bag. This is what it's made for. So these are straps for putting your map rolls in. Then you've got two side pouches of reasonable size. But nothing too special, they're, they're pouches. One on both sides. And that's basically the whole bag. It's not the most sophisticated thing in the world, but it's, it's going to be better than a messenger bag stuffed with crap. I also got... Fucking monster tokens. Because I'm lazy, and I've done the thing where I make my own monster tokens, and I'm too fucking lazy for that. So they're numbered tokens. I've got one through four in large. So, uh, excuse me, I've got one through five in large monster size. One through three in huge monster size. And one and two in massive or gigantic, whatever it was. And then I've got a whole slew of them in normal, which I've now dropped. So these are all standard size tokens. And they're all numbered for your convenience. That's good. That's that's going to be really useful. Are you checking me out, dog? My character is hot, I know this. If only I was. So let's go ahead and offload garbage real quick, and then I think we're going to call it a night. How much time did I actually... My brain reads the massive ones as Tarask size. Yes. How long do you think I actually spent playing... Like... Horizon Zero Dawn today? Do you think it was less than 20 minutes? Because I think it was probably less than 20 minutes. I got pretty bored of that pretty goddamn fast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's make sure all my gear is up to date. It felt like over an hour, but it wasn't that long. No, it really wasn't. I've only been streaming for three hours and 25 minutes. It's time for bed, honestly. Um, hmm. What other classes do I have at 90? Bard, Machinist Dancer, Blue Mane, Dragoon, Monk, Dragoon? 
Dragoon is like a really bad glam at the moment. Almost movie in bedtime for you? Yeah. Gunbreaker, White Mage, Sage, that's right. All right. I don't know why I'm walking over here. I think it's just out of habit. Oh, oh my God, there's an Anteater minion. That's pretty great. Oh yeah, I was gonna put this this stuff away. How's my saddlebag full? Oh. That's how. I got fishing bait in there. And Bojan coins. And uh, cracked clusters. Eat. Hmm. I should clean that out. I'm not going to, but I should. I even need piety materia. Anyways. Onwards to finishing cleaning out my inventory. Yeah, we're just gonna go sell off these cards. We're gonna ogle this dude in his skin suit. We're gonna fail to ogle that dude in his skin suit. This person was standing here when we logged in. I'm just pointing that out. It's not relevant, I'm just pointing it out. You know, it's a shame that Lord Rayleigh hasn't tried the critically acclaimed MMO Final Fantasy XIV with a free trial that includes the award winning expansion Heavensward with unlimited playtime up to level 60. Because it's a good time, you know. It's just a shame. Especially with the current seasonal event running, the Manderville Gold Saucer. That's also a good time. You gotta finish the video and then catch a movie, then bed. I'm probably gonna go see here's one of the things about like streaming is i come home from work take a f like eat dinner take a shower and then i stream for four hours and then i go take another shower because i sweat sitting here because i got lights on and all this jazz so i just i sweat not like a ton but just enough that i kind of want another shower before i go to bed Uh, let's sell off these materia. Ooh, 310. I'm actually going to sell them for money. Wow. Clean these out, and then we're good to go. Someone just said anyone would need anything. I just hit the lotto. I was gonna make a joke, but honestly, nothing was that funny. Oh, see, that outfit's so good. I'm a big fan of this one. It's just that's just a good outfit. Like, look at that. That's just a good outfit. It is definitely better on her. My character is kind of a refrigerator. Such as the life of Ephemero. Anyways, I think it's time for bed. Statues. I will not see you tomorrow. But I will see you on Saturday. Hildebrand. Yes! Goodbye.